White House correspondent April Ryan, she's covered, of course, three United States presidents. And yesterday we had part one of my interview with her about her new book, Presidency in Black and White. Here's part two. There was one playful moment that's in the book that I really am proud of. And it, the, before the playful moment, we had talked about uh, issues of race uh, during the presidential campaign for Barack Obama and John McCain. He and I both talked, and he said, um, I said something about there are overt, and I couldn't get the word out. He said subtle racism. And, I, and it, we talked about that mm. in that campaign. And then uh, the, the day after, the morning after uh, President Obama was named the 44th president of the United States. We were out in the Rose Garden waiting for George W. Bush to mark the history, the historic moment that this nation has shifted. And um, George W. Bush said in the Rose Garden, he marked it, but before that he was walking, pacing back and forth in the Oval Office. And you know in the Rose Garden you can either stand at the podium, but I chose to move over and look inside that French door to see what was going on in the Oval Office. And he was pacing back and forth angry. I never found out what he was mad about, but he had many of his staffers in there to include Steve Hadley, the National Security Advisor, and he was pacing angrily back and forth. And then I was looking in the door and then he, for whatever reason, stood and looked outside the French doors and saw me, spotted me, and he did this. Raise the roof. Uh, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, and, and exactly, he did that. He started laughing. I started laughing. And he broke the tension in the room. Steve Hadley came over to say, what, what caught your attention? And Steve Hadley, the National Security Advisor at the time, looked out the door and started laughing. So I don't know what was going on, but he, he recognized he raised the roof. And I do believe that George W. Bush, and, and this may sound crazy, but I believe that George W. Bush really wanted to help Barack Obama by staying out of the fray because he understood the magnitude of this man being president. And he he knew that people were going to attack him, so he stayed out of the fray, and he did not save himself by throwing Obama under the bus. Uh, I want to compare and contrast mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. And if you look at President Bill Clinton going to Africa, mm -hmm. I was there with him. President George W. Bush going to Africa. Mm -hmm. You look at President Obama going to Africa. Mm -hmm. um, Obama's visit was probably out of those three. The least emotional, more more business like. I mean, the the the, the Clinton one was. I mean, when you look at the people he brought with him. The whole. I mean, it, it was lots Al of pop and circumstance uh, Jesse and Jackson, all of that. Jesse Jackson, Bob Johnson, uh, Morris Templesman, uh, who was uh, Jackie Kennedy's uh, confidant and friend. Um, but I'm going to tell you this: the, the the during the Clinton years when we traveled, when we traveled with Clinton. The, the, all the nations that we traveled to, they were just amazed. I'll never forget when we landed in Ghana and everyone wound up just rushing to the cars. We were doing a motorcade in the street. All the, the, the sea of people, this mass of people just rushed to the cars and there was this huge stadium filled with people. They were just so eager to see Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton come, Bill Clinton come. They were just so amazed. And it was amazing to feel that. And it was my first time uh, to travel to Africa and as a journalist with the president. We were to President Obama in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I am still, it's interesting to me <clears throat> that if you think back to those iconic images uh, again, now I'm not, I'm not comparing Clinton to Obama, but I'm speaking of the trip. But you compare those iconic images, literally the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Africans celebrating the arrival of President Clinton. We don't have those images with, with President Obama. And what I mean by that is you, you, you don't have his first trip to Ghana in 2009. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to have anything that was outdoors. I remember calling a senior administration official and being told, well, it was, a, it was a safety issue because it was raining. And then even when he went to that particular trip, um, does that also go, go back to this sort of delicate dance when it comes to race in terms of sort of not creating sort of this uh, this 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 lasting image, if you will, uh, of half a million million Africans celebrating the president coming. You bring up some very interesting points, and, I, and it's making me remember back to the trip. Because he hasn't even been to Kenya, <clears throat> been president as well. Kenya is George W. Bush didn't travel to Kenya because of security issues. Gotcha. And um, this president cannot at this moment.
moment. Kenya has some major terrorism. Well, but, but, but also, also because also <coughs> because uh, the Kenyan president uh, also was was, was being tried yeah. was being, by the war tribunal. So, so. But let me say this to you: when we traveled in those streets, people came out. But you have to remember, people were balking about the cost of the trip prior to. And when a president of the United States travels to Africa, they have to build infrastructure, mm -hmm. and there is security. And Africa, some of the countries in Africa are not as stable as one would like or one would hope. And the, the security there, unfortunately, in some of these countries are, are not necessarily as as robust, the security is not as robust as it is here, and some of the security officers have been, they are not making that much money in mm -hmm. the police force, and they are on the, some of them are on the take. So you have to bring in your contingent, and people were screaming, why is it costing this much? So Africa, this president made Africa a priority in the issue of trade. The book is called The Presidency in Black and White, My Up Close View of Three Presidents and Race in America by April Ryan. Folks, what do y'all think? Okay, all right. <laughs> Look forward to reading it. Yeah, it yeah. Good. Right? <laughs> it was an interesting interview. I, I thought that in the, the, the conversation you were having about going to Africa and, 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 and the conversation we were just having, um, I think it is something to note. Um, when you talk, draw the difference of when he went to Ireland and when he went to Africa and the outside versus inside event. Um, and I get your point about the visual. However, you know, at the end of the day, I am still, I think it's still very present. It, it didn't matter if you had the picture of a, a lot of black people out there cheering for him or the fact that it's just a black man, is a black man in the White House. And here's, it doesn't even, here's, here's what I a black family. Here's why I disagree. I disagree. To, to this day, to this day, we show John Kennedy when he went to Ireland. To this day. Mm -hmm. They still roll the crowds, mm -hmm. the limo going through yeah. the crowds and the speeches and, and how emotional that was. I only raise that question because it's important for history. Right. Yeah, and it's important to, to stop being abstract about bias in the media and be very clear about there, that there is a bias in the media and the, the throngs of people that came to see Obama and having that picture of black in front of black, African-American black and African continental black in each other's presence on such a large scale, which actually occurred, we didn't get to see. So I think that's part of, part of Roland's point is that we did get to see the Ireland celebration yeah. and Kennedy's connection and there's a historic picture forever that we get to see, but we don't get to see this happening with this president. Right, well I, yeah. I, and I, that's I, like what, the, I mean I guess I like the pictures where you have I see the, all the people, pictures. the hands, I want to see the hands of the president, you know, no, no, the I, black ministers praying over him. Cause, cause I, I like that, but I understand that there is, you know, what you're saying bias. about that. Oh yeah, it is racist. Biased. No, no, well, I, I, no. I, I, I don't care. I've never no, I, 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 no, I'm just I, saying. Straight up. I, mean, I raised the question because I believe that there was in the first term. Uh, within that, the White House. In the, in the first term, there was a fear of wanting to actually show that. Right. And I think at the end of the day, that's just what it was. Which was a misstep. So, it was a misstep. And the fear was. Right. 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 Right.